Okay, so hi guys and welcome back to another video. And today I have a massive Opoly Halloween haul. So even though I've done so many like kind of Halloween hauls, trying on Halloween outfits, I still have not decided on my Halloween outfit. I just cannot decide. So I thought I'd go on the new Opoly Witching Hour drop. I thought I'd pick up a few bits, see what I like so I can make my final decision. So yeah, before we get into this video, make sure that you like and subscribe, turn the notification bell on so you'll be alarmed when I upload any other content. Follow me on Instagram and let's get straight into the video. <laughs> Right, let's go. Okay guys, so the first thing that I picked up were actually these black mesh gloves. I'm kind of liking the trend where everyone wears gloves. I feel like it looks really sleek and really classy. I feel like I can use these other than Halloween as well um, because I have been looking for black mesh gloves to complement a few of my outfits but they've been sold out absolutely everywhere. I'm so glad they dropped them on this collection. I'm just trying to find the prices. So these are the hand stitch mesh opera gloves in obviously black and they were £15. I will try them on with the next outfit just so you can kind of see it with an outfit just for reference every single one of the outfits that i'm showing you is in a size eight so the next thing that i picked up is the lace corset tie up red mini dress this is really cute and this screams like sexy halloween devil to me so it has the tie up down this v cut here and then it just a tie up down the leg really like this i hope it fits nicely um and yeah like i said it was a size eight and this one was 60 pounds okay Oh, Polly did not come to play. Oh my gosh. Hello. Oh my gosh. The lighting's really bad in here at the moment, so I'm very sorry. And my head's going to be cut off as well because of the camera angle. But um, I was a little bit nervous about it because of all these slits. Just a pre warning you do have to go completely underwearlessness. That's a word. You can't have anything on underneath because because your pant lines were here and I had massive sparkly pants on so it kind of would have ruined the vibe. I'm so glad I went for the eight. I was going to go for the six but it is quite tight, I can't lie. Oh my god, who is she? This is stunning. I actually think the slits complement it really well. The dress just finishes here so I know the camera angle is a bit bad but it literally just, just finished there. The material feels actually very nice. It's actually really comfortable. Um, the only bit that's a little bit tight is obviously the corset but it's kind of made to be like that. Just a simple red dress at the back. It fits very nicely however like if I wanted to wear this out for Halloween how am I not going to wear no pants because if I'm sitting down like everyone's going to be seeing everything. So does there, is there like pants you can get without the strap? But then how would they work? Do, do they do like stick on pants? Like do they do like nipple covers? Do they do that for pants? Because I'm not really sure. Like this is a stunning dress. I would rate it like a 10 out of 10 for like gorgeousness. But practicability, I'm not gonna be flashing all night. That's just, that's just a no. So yeah, this is the top bit up close. Oh, I do love this detail, I can't lie. And I'm not wearing anything on the top half either, but I don't feel like I need to. Do you know what I mean? Like I feel very secure. Just this element here I'm a little bit concerned about, but 10 out of 10, she is gorgeous. I need to get me some devil horns because this is a potential. Okay, what we're feeling, I feel like it looks better gloveless. These are cute. They make my fingers look really long, but it's giving me like a fat bulge here. Like that's not flattering, is it? Like I don't think my arms are that big, but like this is giving like, during it so tight, it's making my arms bulge a bit. I'll try the gloves on with the black outfit to see how they look. Okay, so the next thing that I picked up, I think is a little more like ambitious than what I thought. Um, So this is like that latex vinyl material and it's in a lovely purple colour, it's a corset dress and I think this one was £50. I got it because one of my favourite Disney films ever is Hercules and I tried finding a Halloween costume for Meg but they all just look really unflattering so I tried to find like a purple dress and I thought this could be a contender but I do think it's slightly too dark of a purple, she does wear more of like a pinky purple um, but I mean we can give it a go. It does smell a bit funky. I'm not a fan of like this vinyl latex material. Like every single time I've picked it up, it smells really strange. We'll give this a go, see if we can be like a more modern Meg, but I don't know, I'm not liking it off face value. I mean, I'm very sticky and it smells not nice at all. I don't think I'd want people thinking that like I actually smell this fishy. It's this like sticky latex material, which I mean is not bad, but then, but then inside it's got like a silk lining. So it's actually like a really comfortable dress. This was the one that I wanted to give me like cute Meg Hercules vibes. And I feel like it's a little bit too futuristic to be giving me them vibes. I feel like Meg, she's like really classy with what she wears. 
so I feel like this definitely isn't like embodying her but I feel like it'd be cute for a, a witch or I did see someone dress up, this up as a pirate like they wore like a like tie up sarong thing here and it had all like coins coming off it and it looked really cool as a pirate it's another corset at the top let me come in a little bit closer yeah it has a nice little shine this does give me more like futuristic though like I feel like you could turn this into like a really sexy robot it's actually surprisingly comfortable though it's just the smell that's put me off a little bit bit worse it's really cute i just don't think purple's my color like german people like look good in certain colors i don't think purple's one of them for me i do feel like it not washes me out i don't know what the word is i just feel like it's not mm, i don't know just i don't think it does me any favors that this color i'd give it maybe like a seven and a half to eight that's what I'm feeling with it at the moment. Just a little afterthought, um, ignore my big sparkly pants, but this is incredibly sweaty. Like I have got back sweat and I don't normally sweat from my back. So like this is, oh, I don't know what it is about this latex, but it's making me feel all like, oh, no, no, no. The next thing I got, I actually thought was the most like Halloween-y thing they had on there. So it's like a little cord. I'll show you in a moment. It's really hard to show, but you'll see it better on camera. This is a white tie-up crop top. And the way it falls off just gives me really like ghosty witchy vibes. So the crop top was 35 pounds. It's really hard to show, but you'll see in the try on clips. And it's this lovely mesh material. The skirt, you can see a little bit better. The skirt was 28 pounds. Oh, this skirt feels lovely. It reminds me of like um, the ballet skirt she used to wear when you were a child. But if you see the way this material was like draped at the bottom, I think this would be a really cute like ghost. So the top was 35 pounds and the skirt was 28 pounds. I think that's a really cute co-ord set. Okay guys, so this is the next one. It's the white floaty co-ord. Can you see the skirt? Might have to bring you a little bit lower down. Can you see the skirt? Yeah, you can. Um, it does come up very, very high. Um, I can't really turn around because it is extremely high on the back. Um, so I don't think I could actually wear this out unless I had like shorts or tights underneath it. But I do think the cut of it is so cute at the bottom. It is really like ghosty to me. This could be like a super cute ghost. And then, let me put you back up. And then this is the top half of it. It's really cute. I was a bit concerned that the sleeves were going to make my arms look all bulgy like the gloves did. But the sleeves actually sit really like delicately. It's really cute um halter neck's really nice i do feel supported like when i first put this on it was really bad like you could see them very bad so yeah definitely invest in some nipple covers if this is the one that you're going for i actually think this would be really cute as an angel as well because it's very floaty it's very cute um i do think it'd be more flattering on like a darker skin tone though um the white does slightly wash me out because i am very pale um so yeah definitely on like a more tan skin tone but yeah i mean it still looks cute i still think it flatters me quite nicely then the next thing i picked up is exactly the same as the co-ord but it's in the mini dress form so it's the tie up halter neck like floaty dress version of it but i got it in the black this time just so you can see like an alternative and the skirt is exactly the same again and this gives me more witchy vibes the darker color this is really cute the material is actually really stretchy i think that's going to look really cute on this is the dress version of the co-ord but in black i actually feel like i prefer the dress a lot more i think i like black anyway i feel like black complements my skin tone a lot better i do like that it's a dress as well because i can pull it down so it's not as short over my bum and then like it's obviously not pulling down so you can see my belly so i do prefer the dress version of it a lot this would be a super cute witch halter neck's really supporting again and you actually can't see my nipple with this one so i do feel like that's more of an issue with the white fabric that is just the back oh it is so cute and floaty i think i give the co-ord like a seven and a half and then I think I'd give this one a nine. Do you really like this? And the next thing that I got is just, I thought I had to get like a staple black dress. I mean, you could turn this into anything really. I was thinking like, you know, everyone does the traditional like cat on Halloween or like a witch. You could turn this into absolutely anything. So I thought I had to throw a staple black dress in here. So it's just a, is it bandu when it doesn't have? Yeah, I think it's bandu when it doesn't have like straps or anything. Love this detail all down here. It's got like mesh cutouts there. This is stunning. Absolutely love this. So size eight again, and this was 58 pounds pounds just thought this was a staple that like if you didn't know what you wanted to be for halloween you could just kind of turn this dress into absolutely anything okay guys this is the next one oh, i actually really like this one um it's not doing any favors for my tan line so i'll have to sort them out whoa where have i got red lines from excuse me how has that just happened um okay um but this is really cute this is giving me like a pirate vibe like when you open it 
it has like all the buckles and everything this would be a cute pirate the material is actually really weird it kind of feels like when you went to like secondary school the material that the shirts were it feels a little bit like that to me here like this is all mesh but then this here feels like the shirt material that i wore um, when I was in secondary school and it's giving me a little bit of PTSD but it's fine this whole lace up detail is so cute I don't know if you can see it because the camera's quite dark I love the red one but I think this lace up deal this lace up detail is more practical there's a mesh underlay and I've got my massive sparkly pants on and you can't tell which I love this feels incredibly sturdy it has this sticky thing here so it, like it's not moving we do the jump test <laughs> nope they are firm in there this one's really cute i don't have the biggest chest but if you had the bigger boobs you'd have such a cute under boob look here this one was quite expensive i think it was one of the most expensive ones but i think i'd also give this a 10 out of 10 i do love like a bodycon dress i can't lie Ooh. then the next thing that i got i thought was like more of a classic spin on halloween um so i thought this would be really cute to turn into like an angel or a ghost again so this is like the silk satin material and it's a corset top here white silky gorgeous and then it ties up at the back and the top was 40 pounds and then i thought it would complement this white like maxi skirt really well the try and clip probably is not going to look the best on me because i have tried on a few maxi skirts from o Poly, and because of my height they just don't flatter me i thought i'd throw it in as an option for people that are taller than me because i do think it's like a really classy spin on halloween so it's like a gorgeous silk maxi skirt and that was 32 pounds so that was a really cute one that you could have as like a cute little ghost or like angel with angel wings okay guys so this is the last outfit it's a corset and then like a maxi skirt that i'll show you in a minute the corset i really like i like the way that it like points up here i feel like it's very flattering around the chest the corset is really nice but i mean i don't have a good history with maxi skirts do i because of how short i am you know what this side i actually think it's really cute this is the first maxi skirt where it's like not that long why did they put a split this big oh that's actually really annoyed me that's bring that down to about four for me but if you've got like quite long legs I, I do feel like it looked gorgeous on you. But Ellis' sister is going as an angel for Halloween. So I literally just told her, like, try this skirt on because she's got, like, such nice model legs that, like, this skirt would look nice on her because she's really tall. But, yeah, corset is a very nice structure. It's a good job they sold them separately because if this was, like, a dress thing... I would not be too happy to be honest i would not be too happy so yeah that is everything that i picked up for this opoly halloween haul i really hope that you enjoyed this video um i still have no idea what costume i'm gonna wear i kind of have loved every single one i've tried on not only in this haul but i did like a doll's kill one i did and summers and there was some that i got from a few other places and i still have not decided so let me know in the comments what you think i should for halloween yeah i hope this gave you some ideas for what you'd like to wear for halloween and make sure that you like and subscribe turn the notification bell on so you'll be alarmed when i upload any other content follow me on instagram and i'll see you very soon for another video thank you bye